What's going on everybody? Fitz Finley Constrictors here headed up to pick up my wife and let me tell you, whoa, 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 we're Dukes of Hazard now. Let me tell you, the roads are pretty crappy. They're pretty crappy as you can see. <laughs> What's good everybody, Fitz Finley Constrictors here, headed up to pick up my wife from work. She just had to do a 14 hour shift up there and you know, oh I've got a bunch of turkeys going to cross the road up here, nope deer. Anyway, she just worked a 14 hour shift and I feel horrible for her. I mean all these people working in the medical field over the past year have just been run ragged. Come on guys, come on guys, take a left, take a left, take a left, you take a left. Ah, oh, come on, dear. We're gonna follow this guy all the way. <laughs> You're, he's jumping invisible fences. There you go, my friend. Anyway, uh, they've been working themselves ragged. My poor wife, I mean, she gets one day off every 12 days. Uh, she just did a 14 hour shift. I mean, normally she's been, only been working eight hours every now and then a 12 hour, but a 14 hour shift, oh gosh, man. Just hats off to everybody in the medical field that's been working through this pandemic for over a year now. If anybody deserves any extra anything, I really think it's them. I, I mean, I mean everybody deserves to be taken care of, don't get me wrong, but man, it, it's been hard to watch her. And, and I'm, honestly, I don't know if I, I don't know how long she can keep that up. I mean, that, that will wear anybody out. But anyway, I'm gonna head up to the shop. I gotta do some feeding, so this is a feeding video. I don't really like to give warnings about feeding videos. I don't do a lot of them, but at the same time, I am a reptile channel. You, you have to understand that there's a possibility you might see an animal um, eat another animal. Now, am I a fan of that? No, I'm not a big fan of that, if I'm being honest. I've seen, I see it go down hundreds of times every single week for a very long time now. I'm not a big fan of it, but it is a necessary thing. It just is. Um, and I try to do mine the most humane way possible. That's why I breed my own rats. Um, you know, I, I've ordered rats before, don't get me wrong, but you know, hey, it's kind of like you go out there, you kill it, you eat it type thing. Um, if I'm going to sacrifice a creature's life for another, um, I want to give it the best life and give it the most respect I can. That's what I have to say about it. No, I'm not a weird PETA tree hugger. Um, I'm just being honest with you, so I'm not a super big fan of it, but it is part of what we have to do, and it's a very important part. Uh, anyway, that's what we're doing in this video, so if it offends you, you should turn off right about now. Well, wait a second. Before you turn off, just know I do have the 3K giveaway, which is a pastel pied snake, and it will not eat vegetables, so if you want to win that snake, just know that you will have to feed it as well. It's, it's just part of the game, like I said. But on my channel, you can always trade your prizes for something different if you don't want a snake, or maybe you can't have a snake, so keep that in mind. All right, let's get to the feeding. What's going on, everybody? Going Uber here, Fitz Family Constrictors, and today is a feeding day. I don't normally even give warnings about feedings. I am a reptile channel, so there is a chance that uh, you might see a feeding. Not the favorite thing to do, as I've said many times before. I cherish my rats. I take very, very good care of them, and um, it's not the funnest part, but it is part of it. And that's what we're doing today. So if that turns you silly, then feel free to jump on out of there. Now I am the feeding on every five day right now. So we're feeding all the females that are getting fed every five days. And these are the females that are building and that I am hopefully will have some clutches from here really soon. All right. Now, since I feed every five days, I give them a medium sized rat. And it's usually a little bit on the smaller size of a medium. Although I say that and every time I sell a medium rat to somebody, they always say, uh, that's the largest medium rat I've ever seen. <laughs> so here we go. Cinnamon female. Where are we, sweetheart? Here she is. Uh, she loves to eat. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. I got to be very careful. As you can see, she's, and this is fun for me. We'll go over here. And uh, there you go. <laughs> I like to make them work a little bit. You know, ball pythons, they like to just kind of hang out in one spot and stay there, and that's how they like to be. So I make them work a little bit. All right, that is my cinnamon female, and she's being paired up to my orange dream cinnamon. That's 100% het for genetic strike. 
All right, next is my pastel female, and she's 100% hep for genetic stripe, but she is also being bred to the Orange Dream Cinnamon, 100% hep for genetic stripe. And we'll see how she goes. Now, some of these females might not take a meal, and if they don't, that's a good thing for me because that means that they are where I want them to be. Now, she's like, I'll take it. I'll take it. All my snakes do really well when it comes to feeding time. I shouldn't have gave her that little extra rub. <laughs> All right, we're going to let her get that, and then we're cut back. Ready? Magic of editing. Now, every female of mine is different. They all like different things. They all do different things. This one right here, 90% of the time, will take her meal. Um, you just lay it down in there, shut the drawer, and she will take it in her own good time. That said, 10% of the time, she will take it off the tongue. So we will see what she's up to today. And we'll give her a second. She's just going to sniff it out. So I'll leave it right there like that. I'll shut it and I'll tell you what, when I come back in the morning, she will have that thing gone. He's got some big old boys down there, boy. Oof. All right, so this next girl is also on a five day schedule. Um, she is not locking up and breeding right this minute, but she will be here shortly, um, later on this season. And I wanna make sure she is good and ready. Now, she is an awesome snake and never has a problem eating her meals ever. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> and she is a pastel possible het pie. Just don't remember that. Don't remember if she is or not. That was a gift from a friend of mine. It wouldn't be hard for me to find out. Uh, but I haven't seen him in a while. So if there's anybody seen Jimmy from the Python Bro, uh, let him know that I miss him. And uh, I'm looking for him. I might have to send him a message. Now this girl just came out of shed. So I know she's not going to have a problem. She usually takes a meal pretty quickly takes her a second to realize what it is. And as soon as she does, she's like, come down. <laughs> Little wiggle. Beautiful yellow belly right here. Been paired up to the banana inchy. All right, up next we have this beautiful hypo female and she is no stranger to food. She enjoys it. And she should be coming out of shed really soon as well. Good job. Good job. Beautiful snake, very healthy. All right, next up is my girl Lola, and uh, she's something else. She is a sweetheart, and she loves her meals as well. She knows what time it is. Let's see if we can just bring her right out for you. <laughs> Love this girl. All right, so let's get you in there. Yep, give it hell, honey. Give it hell. Good job. Good job. Gonna have to move some of these over to uh, the bigger tubs. All right, we'll let her take care of that and we'll move on to the next one. Mojave female right here. She is a very large female at 3,800 grams. Whoa, and a big miss and almost took my arm. That's not good. There you go. There you go. Good snake. All right, another female that's on the five-day rotation is this beautiful VPI Exanthic female, and she's being locked up to my killer pod. Uh, Mojave I showed you just a second ago is hooked up to my GHI 100% Head Lavender, and uh, that's who she'll be going again to. Good job, sweetheart. Let's just get you uh, in a way where I can shut it. Good job, Lola. All right, another female here that is being locked up to my albino Enchi Lesser Pastel Pinstripe. She's a beautiful Enchi. Love those gold colorings. All right, now I'm just going to feed a couple males. I've been putting in a little extra time lately. You want to keep them nice and well fed. Sometimes your males go off food when they're breeding, and that's a nightmare because you don't want to keep breeding them and not feeding them. They will definitely just breed themselves to death when not eating. All right, next up is this beautiful GHI 100% Het for Lavender Albino. This is a beautiful male. He has three females this season, which are all three Mojaves. We have a dark Mojave, a 
oak colored Mojave, which we seen take a meal a little while ago, as well as that spider Mojave. And he does a really good job. And he has no problem taking meals either. All right, everybody, that's about it for today's video. I appreciate you all so much. Please hit that like button and subscribe on your way out. Remember, we go live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, working on a new game show to do a bunch of new giveaways. Got a big giveaway going on right now at 3K, this beautiful pastel pied male, 390 grams. He is bad to bone, eat live or frozen thawed, and is super cool. And one of you is going to win that snake pretty darn soon. It's right around the corner. It's awesome. Also, go live 7 o'clock Central Time every Thursday night, 8 o'clock East Coast, 5 o'clock on the West Coast. Come join us. I'll tell you about a couple other live shows that go on throughout the week that you don't want to miss as well. A lot of fun. All right. We're going to let this girl finish her meal. I'm out. Love you all. See me. Bye.